Hey guys, Candace here. Um, I was just going to cut a quick tutorial video of how to do a proper Euro hem. Uh, I had a friend drop off these jeans and um, I've done a lot of Euro hems and the one, the one thing people really love about it is that the hem at the bottom stays the same. Um, so pretty much all you're doing is you're cutting off the original hem and you're reattaching it to the length that they want it. So um, there's a right way to do it and then there is of course the wrong way to do it. So I'm going to show you the right professional finish. You won't even be able to tell that anything's been done to it. And yeah, so anyways, the first things first, what I'm going to do, um, as you can see, part of the pant is, it's kind of bent, um, funny at the bottom. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press this flat with my iron um, so it's just easier to work with. So I'm going to go over to my iron and do that. Okay, so now we've got our bottoms pressed, we're going to measure the inseam. These are going to be 30 inches and just make a little mark at the bottom and I'm um, going to want to draw a line um, on both sides. I use tailored chalk because it is so much easier to work with uh, than the pencils and the felts. It also presses off easily, so mark uh, both your legs. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you actually what I do uh, for a stitching guide. So normally um, if you fold your bottom hem, because we're going to reattach this, and you lift it up like I just did, I mark it at the top. And most jean bottoms are going to be about an inch and a half from the finish um, line. So you're going to want to draw another line an inch and a half above um, your finished hem mark at the bottom and I'm going to show you um, why in a minute so just do that on both sides and then also with the other leg and uh, if you're working with a pair of pants that have a smaller hem at the bottom then you probably want to do maybe an inch but you can measure it um, similar as to how I did in the beginning of this part so you can go back and so anyway so um, let's put our jeans inside out and what we're gonna do is this is just an easier way um, easier way to stitch it as well so you're gonna bring your hem right to that second line so the second line that we just marked and you're gonna just pin along sides. I normally actually use match up the knuckles uh, in the jean, the side seams, so that when you come across to stitching towards them, uh, your pants are going to be even, uh, matching with the hem at the bottom. So, so just go ahead and go around and pin all that in there. And then we're going to do the same for the other leg. I don't always pin my bottom of my pants, but um, it's a good idea to do it. It's just so you prevent the pants from sliding around. Okay, so we're here at the machine, and when you put your foot down, on the inside, I'm going to get a little bit closer here. Um, when you go, hang on one second, there we go. So what you want to do is rest the right side of the foot, the inside edge, right along the edge of um, the jean hem. So what you're going to be stitching on is that lip. Um, you're going to have the hem thread, the original thread on the left, and then the edge 
of the material just kind of sitting on the edge of your foot of your machine. So this takes some practice. Uh, I'm, I am kind of going through this kind of quickly, but um, now I'm going to be going through over the knuckle of the jean. And if you are working with an industrial, or um, I'm sorry, I'm working with an industrial machine, so I can just kind of powerhouse through that. But if you have a domestic machine, just stop and uh, walk your needle over top until you get through it. Um, I know with my domestic machine, it just it actually really messes up the timing on the machine if I do do that. So just be careful, and also you can break your needle easily. So go away down across to cross over where you started with this thread and snip that. Um, now, I'm going to show you here in a second now where I stitched, so I didn't stitch right on the edge, I stitched right through the jean, and when I flip it around, you're going to be able to see um, the jean thread itself, so let's just make sure the pants flat on the, on the machine here because it gets a little bit tricky. Okay, so now you can see with everything folded back, so the fold's going to go flat up against the top part of the pant now, and you're going to keep that folded up while you're stitching, okay? So the next stitch you're going to be doing is you're going to guide your foot the inside of the right the right lip of the foot is going to sit on that edge so it's going to be kind of right over top of um, the jean thread itself and you're going to stitch down that lip right there and as I go I kind of spread apart the material a bit so you can see the jean thread and the ham. So kind of point it apart as I go. And um, yeah, so you just stitch that all the way across. And uh, watch out for your fingers. <laughs> I have actually stitched through my finger once before, but I'll never do that again. So <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. Um, so once you're done that, uh, it's, um, we just have two more steps to do before our jeans are finished. And I usually do a back stitch there at the end too. So. Yeah. So do the same for the other leg. And then now what I'm going to do, so we're not cutting the lip inside, we're actually just going to tack this up. And this is, this is a good idea because you never know in the future if someone else is going to wear these jeans. Um, these jeans are actually clean. They're a little bit stained because they have been worn, obviously. But um, if anybody else were to wear these jeans, um, then they could always take them down too, right? So, um, yeah. So anyways, all I'm doing is I'm tacking it. So you can see I'm just doing a quick little um, forward and back stitch just to hold up the lip. So when you're wearing the jeans, it's not going to flop down on you or anything like that. And the thread that I usually pick out is exact matching to the, um, the jean material um, or pant or whatever. Um, I wouldn't use the tacking method with a pair of cotton pants um, because you'll really, you would see the tacks then inside the pant. I would then go ahead and surge the lip off and just blind hem that up. Um, yeah, so, but with this, this is really great for jeans because it's strong and you can't see it. So, um, I usually do at least, well, I do a tack beside each knuckle, so side seam of the jean, and then also um, you know, a couple in between, depending on if they're really wide leg jeans, then I'll do two or three um, in the front and two or three in the back kind of thing. Um, but if they're like skinny jeans, you probably only need to do about four little tacks, you know, 
and depending on how deep the, the lip is. So this is the last step. This is the most important step <laughs> is pressing it. Uh, pressing is going to give you that nice finish at the end. And also, uh, it's going to get rid of your chalk marks. See how they just nicely disappear. And um, it also sets your thread. So your thread actually will, isn't that nice? Perfect. It's awesome. So anyways, what happens is your thread actually will shrink up and set inside the material. And yeah, so I mean, you can't even tell really. I mean, that is just awesome. So there you go. Super simple. Anybody can do that. So there you go. There's your do-it-yourself Euro hem. Uh, now, the technique of tacking it on the inside and staying away from because what you can do um, to finish the inside is serge it and then uh, blind hem it. But that's a little bit extra work and unless you're running a tailor shop and worried about the professional finishing on the inside, you really don't need to do that and it's really irrelevant anyways because um, either way um, it really doesn't matter. It's more about the finishing too uh, on the outside. Now. Again, if you were to serge or cut the material, once you do that, there's no going back. <laughs> so, at least with this, um, this way, is there's no cutting involved. So, if you were to have, say you have a brand new pair of designer jeans that you would like to shorten, you can practice on those, no problem. That's, they're not going to hurt your jeans. Um, as long as you're not cutting them and you're using a proper jean sharp uh, needle in your machine is really important otherwise you're going to break your needle so make sure you really fall through this video if you are doing it because unless you have an industrial machine um, you're really going to want to walk your needle through the knuckles that um, I explained in this video otherwise you're going to be breaking your needles and um, if you mess up or you go off the line or whatever, um, don't worry about that. Just stop what you're doing and pick out what you've stitched and just go over it again. And eventually it'll just get easier. And um, yeah, so um, let me know how you make out with your Euro ham and uh, leave me any comments below. Uh, if you have any questions about any other types of finishing, I'd be more than happy to answer those or maybe even cut a quick tutorial video for you. So uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be putting out a lot more of these little helpful tutorials and um, also sharing my, uh, my designing uh, fun videos that I've been putting together. I have couple that I've set out so far so anyways you want to tune in for those as well and um, yeah so anyways that's it and I will see you guys on the next video